We're at ReitWorld 2009 in Phoenix, Arizona, and I'm joined by Ross Nussbaum, Managing Director and Senior REIT Analyst for UBS Equities Research. Ross, uh, how would you say that U.S. listed REITs have managed the downturn, and, and what do you think is going to be their outlook for 2010? I think REITs managed the downturn almost as well as they, they could have under the circumstances. It's obviously been a very difficult time for, for everybody. Uh, I would have preferred to have seen them recapitalize sooner. I think there was some writing on the wall back in 2007 that, that things might get worse and, and very few REITs took advantage of an opportunity when stock prices were a lot higher to, to start fixing the problem. But net-net, they ultimately took their medicine, recapitalized, and I think ultimately we're in a better place in terms of, of being able to grow going forward. And I think the theme going forward is all going to be about now that we've survived the downturn, we got to find a way to grow again. Great. And, and how much more equity do you think the industry has to raise uh, in order to, to get out of the woods? We've raised $20 billion so far. I don't think it's another $20 billion from here, but if it is another 20, it's not going to come just from common equity issuance. It's going to come from asset sales. It's going to come from NOIs moving higher. It's going to come from joint ventures. So I don't expect another $20 billion deleveraging uh, of equity next year. Great. And given that banks and other non-dedicated real estate owners are holding on to a great number of assets, what do you think the opportunity is for REITs to come in and, and either manage them or possibly even take them over? Yeah, it's a good question. I don't think that the REITs are going to step in and be third-party property managers of, of bank assets. They're just not going to waste their human capital just for a, for a small management fee. I think they want skin in the game. They want to have equity ownership. The problem is that the banks are kicking the can down the road. They're extending loans. The federal regulators are encouraging them to extend loans. So the, the massive uh, apocalypse of, of a trillion dollars of debt maturing over the next three years and that leading to hundreds of billions of opportunities doesn't look like it's going to fully emerge. Um, so I do think the opportunities will, will be there, but they'll probably be less profitable than, than we may have originally thought, and there'll be fewer of those opportunities. Good. And, and we've seen a, a, a great deal of deleveraging in, in 2009 already. Um, how much more do you think there is to go, and, and do you have an ideal amount where you'd like to see the industry be? You know, ideally, I'd love to see REITs 40% levered relative to their to their gross asset values. Today, we're about 50% or so. So there is still some room to move leverage down. 50% is tolerable. We're not going to blow up at that level. There's not a liquidity problem per se. Um, and I think it's going to be a slow, gradual deleveraging process. Or as companies grow, they're going to need to be issuing equity to grow. Um, but I do think that the worst of the storm is over from, from the balance sheet perspective, and it's just a matter of with the balance sheets the way they are today, how much growth can you achieve off of that level? And I think the answer is less than, than the REITs would probably like. And, and if deleveraging and strengthening the balance sheets were, were, were the key issues for 2009, what do you think is going to be the key issue for 2010? I think it's jobs. I mean, I think it's, it's that simple. I mean, fundamentally, uh, now that the balance sheets are in better shape, we need to start growing earnings. And I think it's going to be all about earnings, which unfortunately means that the number one demand driver for commercial real estate tends to be employment. And we need to get this country generating jobs. And if, if we don't get meaningful job growth generated in this country in the next 12 months, it probably will mean that occupancy rates are going to be heading lower, rental rates may head lower, and that's not good news for, for anybody. And I, there's still a risk of that happening. I mean, the good news is it looks like the, the stimulus from the government is pushing us in the right direction. We just need to see those jobs created. Great. Well, hopefully we'll see it. I okay. hope so. Ross, thank you very much. Thank you. For REIT.com, I'm Matt Beecher.